want to learn a very powerful trick in academic games? And no, I don't mean power as in lightning or Superman, but I mean power is in the operation in math. Ready? Now let's get into the trick. Before we begin, I just wanted to say that even though the Academic Games National Tournament of 2020 was canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the good news is I will still be posting content on the channel. All is not lost. Academic gamers are tough, and during this time, we may face many challenges, but I know that we will emerge stronger than ever. With that aside, let's dive into the trick. So to explain this trick, Let's start off with a simple goal, 36 times 36. We want a three cube solution. Now, how are we gonna get that? Let's look at the goal. 36 is equal to six times six. And that other 36 is equal to six times six as well. And since we're multiplying them together, we can write it as that. That's four sixes being multiplied together. So we can write that as 6 to the power of 4. That would be our solution equals to 36 times 36. And there we go. So now let's analyze another example. So we're going to do 81 times 96. So this 81, we're going to factor just like we did with the other question. We're going to split the 81 into 9 and 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And then we can split those nine into threes. Because three times three times three times three is 81. So right now, 81 can be written as three times three times three times three. This 96 can be broken into two and 48. That 48 can be broken into two and 24. The 24 can be broken into two and 12. The 12 can be broken into 2 and 6, and then finally that 6 can be broken into 2 and 3. So as you see here, we can write uh, 96 as 2 times 2, because we have those 2's there, times 2 from there, times 2, times 2, from that one, and then with the, there's a three at the end as well. So this is a, another expression for the goal that we already have. And if you do the math, it comes out correctly. But if you also notice something else here, we have one, two, three, four, five threes. And we also have one, two, three, four, five twos. So what's going on here, essentially, is each 3 can pair with a 2, so 3 times 2, because there's enough 3s and 2s for each one to match with one other, and then we have 5 of those pairs. So we're multiplying this 5 times by itself, and when you multiply the same number or expression by itself 5 times, that's a, that's a power, and it's a power of 5. So we can simplify 3 times 2 to 6. So then this would be simplified to 6 to the power of 5. So our solution here would be 6 to the power of 5. Because remember, in academic games, you need that power symbol. You can't just write, uh, you can't just put the number in the top right corner because you need the power symbol. And that would equal to 81 times 96. The real magic of the power here is that you can use it to simplify such long expressions to really come up with a short three cube solution that will work and that can give you an advantage over your opponents. Now here's the other example that we're gonna do in this video. Try this on your own first. I'll give you some time to do it. Pause the video if you need to. Now let's go over it. So this 48 can be broken into a two and a 24. That 24 can be broken into a 2 and 12. That 12 can be broken into a 2 and a 6. And then that 6 can be broken into a 2 and a 3. The 27 can be broken into a 3 and a 9. 
and that 9 can be broken into two threes. Now, we have one, two, three, four twos, and we have one, two, three, four threes. So we have four two times threes, and that is four sixes that are being multiplied together if we were to simplify that. So the solution to this goal with power, because power is so powerful, is six to the power of four equals to 48 times 27. This three cube solution can only be attained with the power of the power operation. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to regularly receive new content. Turn on notifications as well to be the first to receive new content. And if you have video requests, please send them to this email. Until next time, see you later.